Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Generation. So, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As uh, the last episode was uh, with um, Quattro, we're going to be doing another weekly challenge. So, um, what deck should we go with? Um, I did with my Chronomalies last time. I did with my Gemnites last time. Um, let's go with, let's go with the Black Roses. So, yes. So, for those who have been here from the beginning, we, I, um, we did a weekly challenge beforehand. Um, we got through pretty much all the time actually. So let's start. Kanaka Ota. Let's see how we fare against him. Her it thing. Alright. So we lost, unfortunately. But he chose to go first, which means we get to draw a card. So straight away, the things to know are he's got three cards in his extra deck, which means he's not centered around extra deck summoning, but he can use it. All right. Doesn't really help me out a lot. This was a new card that I got. Um, I could keep it in my hand or I could set it up as an attack buff. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put seed cannon out and every time I summon a plant type monster it gets uh, a boost so I'm gonna put revival summon revival rose out which gives that a token and when it has five tokens on it I can send it to the graveyard and deal them 2500 points of damage which is a pretty good hit I actually won with that at one point um, plus revival rose has a, an ability that is quite essential so let's see who this face down is Uh, does not bode well. I'm a little bit ill, by the way, guys, so if I sniff, um, please don't mind it. Control of all fields on the monsters returns to the owners. That doesn't <laughs> really bode well. Um, <laughs> considering that must mean he centered around changing the control of my monsters. So that's gonna be fun. Another face down. Titanial's there. So we could um I'm gonna set this one and attack the other one. Yeah, this is a Necro Valley deck. What is that? Yeah. Hold on guys, just gonna move to another quieter room. But right now, there's nothing really left to do, so we're just going to end our turn. Okay, so he's about boosting his... Revival Rose's special ability if she gets destroyed so I can summon it back. See, that's good with my, um... Ahaha, she's a Wind-type monster, so you get an increase. You just played yourself, honey. Nice. 
The early ones aren't really a problem. It's only when they get to like the last two they actually start really getting really tough. I'm gonna summon this one. Yes, I'm gonna have to tribute um, Titaniel, but I'm going to summon him because next turn I can summon him and then bring Titaniel back from the graveyard. So I'll have two high level monsters. Drollbird. So it's a wind type deck um, based around increasing their attack and def uh, lowering the defense. Not entirely sure how that helps him, but because he's not really going on the offensive. But hey, right here we go. Now we can activate this um, ability chain. Oh, I've got a pendulum in the corner there. So we summon. And now that's got its full thing on it, so this should be it. We go to our main phase, and we send it to the graveyard. And that was it! Pretty easy when you think about it. What do we get from it? We get a card, don't we? For a win. Horricale. Yay. Fun. Right, the next one is Cecilia Curtis. I'm going to try and upload these once a week. Um, or record, maybe record one once a week. It depends uh, what, how what I get time to do. So, this will be the first one of a weekly challenge thing. Next one will be Cecilia Curtis. Stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do a, a bit more of these, and when I get my laptop, I'll be getting some, I'll, get, I'll be getting Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, and, you know, maybe I'll be able to record some from there, I don't know, we'll have to find out at some point, so, see you in the next episode, bye!